She asks me to watch her puppy Oscar. I say, sure. I mean, how bad could it be to watch a harmless, innocent, cute little puppy? Right? Right? Wrong. It was a nightmare, if there ever was one. Look at me. Do you see the bags under my eyes? I look like I went 12 rounds with Muhammad Ali. I look awful. She tells me like it's no big deal. She said, Zara, would you mind watching my puppy for me for three days? I said, sure, no problem. Ha! <laughs> no problem! This dog has not stopped barking in his tiny squeaky voice. <coughs> Didn't start barking for the entire night. <coughs> like a wolf howling in the night. Kept me up. I tossed and turned and tossed and turned. Oh my God. I felt like a 1980s break dancer. Finally, it was time to go to work. I was actually excited to go to work for once in my life. Work was somehow a better option than staying home with meow, 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 meow. But guess what? When I walked into my kitchen, I found myself sliding all the way across the kitchen and flat dead on my back and ass. I have bruises the size of boulders. Yeah. I slid on dog pee pee for goodness sake. It's messed up. The dog is messed up. Cheryl, <laughs> Cheryl is so messed up for suckering me into watching her. Her can't even think of an insult for that. That uh, I've had it. He tore up my couch when I came home from work. My couch, the one I had recently purchased from Libet. Great deal, by the way. It's destroyed. And where was Oscar? Somehow, Oscar, the expert trapeze artist, positioned himself on top of my kitchen cabinet. Did I mention how small this puppy is? The size of my foot. Don't know how the hell he got up into the cabinet. <laughs> that little shit. Anyway, he couldn't get down. The genius was afraid to jump. Mind you, there was a load of shit and piss to go around spread all over my cabinet tops. <sighs> so, I'm going to shut up now before I find myself passed out in a hospital from dog anxiety.